Hi, this is Gene Rosen, a creative director of photogenic design and a Batchbook user. Let me show you how to become more productive by integrating Batchbook into a fluid, dedicated browser. Now, all things will be revealed as I take you step by step through this tutorial. Uh, a quick disclaimer first. Now, Fluid is a Mac only application. So for those folks using PCs, uh, go ahead and try Prism. That's a Firefox add on. Okay. First, let's go ahead and travel over to the Fluid website and download the application. The application is free and there's no registration. Go ahead and click on the download button right there and uh, save the file and click OK, just like you usually do. Now you folks should know how to install Mac apps, so I'm not going to go through all the installation process. Just make sure Fluid is installed in your applications folder. Now everyone's got their own method for running Mac apps. Uh, I use Fluid regularly, so I load the app from the dock. Now there are two parts to Fluid, setting up your app and customizing how your app looks and behaves. This screen right here is the setting up part. Now go ahead and log into Batchbook as you normally do. Now I've already done that here. Copy the Batchbook address, this one up here, and paste it into Fluid's uh, URL field. Add a name for your desktop app. Go ahead and be original, call it Batchbook. Now I recommend you keep the Fluid version of Batchbook in the apps folder. Now Fluid will do its best to render uh, the uh, Batchbook icon. And if you want to use another image, you can go ahead and edit right here. Okay, select create. Go ahead and run the application. Now, this is important. Before you log into Batchbook within Fluid, there are a few tweaks that you need to make. First, go to Batchbook or whatever you named your tool and select preferences. Select show all if you can't see all the options. Now go ahead and select advanced and then choose Allow Browsing to any URL. Then go to Appearance and select Window Style HUD Black. HUD, that's Heads Up Display. Go ahead to Tabs and select Enable Tabbed Browsing and Always Hide Single Tab. Okay, now uh, go ahead and close that down and log into Batchbook within Fluid. Okay, now you've got Batchbook running in a dedicated browser located in your apps folder and you can drag it to the dock. Okay, now here's the fun part. When you select your Batchbook tabs, use command click, not click, command click. Command click your contacts, command click your calendar, command click your tags and super tags, and go ahead and move the tabs around uh, as you see fit. The current and active Fluid tab becomes the current and active Batchbook screen. Now Fluid tabs provide instant access to any Batchbook section. And now you have significant speed and flexibility using both Batchbook and Fluid. Very, very cool. Now I've created Fluid apps for Twitter and uh, LinkedIn, Google Docs and, and others. There's really no limit to uh, what you can do with Fluid. So. If you need any additional help setting Batchbook up within Fluid, go ahead and email me at uh, grosen at photogenic, that's uh, photogenic with an EC at the end, dot com. Or you can uh, visit uh, www.photogenic.com and uh, fill out a comment card. Okay, thanks a lot.